Grant Wall here in Los Angeles with Graham Zussi of the U.S. Men's National Team. Thanks for joining us. No problem. Uh, a lot of things going on with this U.S. team. You're just back from Brazil, nearly two weeks down there. What did you get out of that trip? I thought it was a great uh, kind of a dry run, if you will, for us to get down there, experience the little things that y you don't think of, really. You know, you're in a foreign country, obviously. You're in a great hotel, a great area, but there's just a, a few little things about being in a foreign country that sometimes you don't think of. So I think it was great for the players, great for the staff to get a feel for everything and just iron out the, the, the details that need to be ironed out before, uh, before summer. From a soccer perspective on the field, you played a couple closed door games against Sao Paulo FC, a lot of training sessions. How did it go from a soccer perspective? I thought it went very well. Um, we, we really pushed, uh, well the staff really pushed the guys hard um, and I thought everyone responded very well. Um, you know, we, we were focused for, for the whole two weeks and really felt that we got a lot out of it for, uh, in a player's perspective. So um, I thought the games went well, uh, we, we, we performed well, and um, the training we got was, was great. We're in a World Cup year now. It's just a few months away. Every player is fighting for a spot on that 23-man roster. There was a, a stretch last year in qualifiers uh, where in a couple of them you weren't starting. Uh, you came in and won and scored in Kansas City. Uh, you got the starting spot back uh, in Panama, got the big goal there. Uh, what do you think it will take for you to get a starting spot potentially on this team in Brazil? Yeah, I think uh, just continuing to get better and, and, and playing in um, good competitions for, for club. You know, that's a, it's a, what's going to be a big factor of being on that 23-man roster is what you do with your club because the, the national team games are kind of uh, running out before, before the summer. So, and fitness level is a, a big part of it as well. Um, you know, Jurgen and the staff are, are very big on, on players' fitness, and um, you know I think if, if we can be in, uh, you know, really good form going into the World Cup, you know, you got a good chance of being on that roster. You are known now in Mexico as Saint Zusi, uh, after your goal late against Panama saved Mexico's World Cup hopes. Uh, what are some of the, the coolest stories of interactions you've had with Mexico fans after that? Looked at Twitter, naturally, and the, the outpour from the, the Mexican supporters was unbelievable. I mean, literally thousands and thousands of tweets directed at me. Um, but then when I got back to Kansas City uh, the following day, I, I went into training like a normal day. But... Um, it wasn't very normal. There was a, a group of Mexican supporters out there, um, <laughs> kind of grabs me and, and threw a, a sheet over my head, threw a sombrero on, on my head, and uh, that's when I was dubbed, I guess, <laughs> San Zussi. Yeah. It's a great story, and I, and I hope you get free beers or drinks or whatever for Mexican fans for the rest of your life. Now, I know I've talked to people in Kansas City, uh, people in the ownership, people in the coaching ranks of that team, and they are really impressed with what you've done in your career there. There's also, uh, they're preparing themselves a little bit for the possibility that post World Cup, you might get some real interest from European teams. Uh, have you thought about that? Honestly, not, not really. Uh, I don't like to think about you know, what, what may be in the future. I, I, I like to kind of stay where I am and uh, put 100% of my focus towards what I'm doing at the moment. And if those opportunities come, uh, it's only going to be because of how I, I'm playing at the moment, so um, I'm, I'm not going to worry about it too much. And yeah, I mean, there, there's always that uh, kind of dream of of playing at at a higher level when, when, wherever you can. And um, so, if like I said, if that interest comes, I'll, I'll I'll look at it as it does. Well, it's a big year, a lot of things happening on the soccer field for you. Good luck with everything. Thank Thanks you for very joining much. us. Yeah, thank you.